Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kill Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Christmas movie marathon. At least a little bit longer because it's almost Christmas, it's almost there. So, I'm going to be talking about lots of Christmas movies and whatnot and whatever. So, this time around, it's going to be a Disney movie. Uh, because for the obvious reason it's Christmas related and also the second reason is that I'm not sure when I'm going to be talking about a Disney film really and uh, I know uh, from time to time talk about Disney but a bunch of Disney stuff in a row I'm just doing this for I'm not sure when I'm gonna do a Dis going to do a Disney uh, a thon but also because like I just said it, it has something to do with um, Christmas all right let's get straight to the point uh, I just got to watching this one, and it's it's garbage. Uh, the moment I saw that it was a Disney Channel original movie, ah shit, damn it! That was from the very second that logo came on the screen, my expectations just went straight down, faster than I could expect. But, uh, the movie I'm going to be talking about is the one titled, uh, Christmas Again. Yep, that's the title of the movie, Christmas Again. Yeah, Christmas Again. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I, it's, it's putting it as a form as a question. I know, um, but yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was, that was bad. It was really bad. Yeah, just... Man, Mr. Monkey, really, Monkey, Mr. Monkey. Anyway, so yeah, I, of course I have to talk about the plot. So let's just dive right into it, shall we? Because some of these bogus. I don't want to talk about it. Ugh. All right. I just got to watching this. Still first my noggin. But yeah, let's talk about the plot, I guess. Uh, yeah, it put my sensors around this this little girl. Yeah, she's very young. And uh, on the whole thing with Christmas and eh, ball humbug. She's not really feeling the Christmas spirit because I guess you can tell her family irritates her and whatnot. So, you know, family's a pain in the ass, I guess. Like this guy is. I pay my ass. Over there. You're grounded, mister. But anyway. But anyway. But yeah. Uh, as a result of this irritation that she has, she makes a Christmas wish with the Santa Claus guy. And this. So. Um. Oh yeah, I'm one of these movies again. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with um, Groundhog's Day, that one Bill Murray movie. It's basically that, except dumber. <sighs> so yeah, every the Christmas has been repeated like a bunch of times, over and over again. And since she feels like there's no consequences to her actions, she felt that. Okay, I'll just do this again and again and again. But she does. She does. She does like all these kinds of stuff because she knows it's just gonna restart the next morning anyway. So let's just do whatever. And how she does. Um, but you see, you see like a lot of stuff she would do that she considers to be fun, and she's really busy. She says that she's busy doing these things, too busy to hang out with her own family because. She doesn't want to hang out with him at all. But yeah. Um, so, but eventually, it starts to get to her. Of course, it starts to get to her. It starts really to irritate her and whatnot. But yeah. And of course, yeah, I've seen like these, I think it's like the fourth movie, this four, a fourth Christmas movie I've seen that has the same plot. Um, 
But yeah, and they all come off the same. The, the, you know the Christmas movie, I mean the four, uh, Christmas movies that have like a time travel kind of thing, like a loop, like an endless loop. Well, I've seen four of these are kind of Christmas ro movies already. And they all come out the same. Oh. This was, this was bad. This was really bad. And, um, Mr. Monkey, no. No. Er, no. Listen. No. Get away from the camera. No. 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 Bad monkey. Bad. This was torture. This was torture. And he has some of the worst acting I've seen in a Disney original channel movie. Oh my god. Especially from the little girl, the main character. Who, <coughs> excuse me. Her acting was atrocious. This is why I don't want to see kids as actors or actresses in a movie. They're so awful. And she proves it. It's all. It's really. It's it's garbage. Disney, what are you doing? Disney company. If the company was a person, I would just ask it, what are you doing? What's the quality control? Non-existent. You're gonna allow this crap to be greenlit. Just no, no. It's generic. Beat for beat, the same thing we've seen. Not, these time travel Christmas movies, like I said, it does the same thing. And it just does the same thing like the other Christmas movies. Of course, it's going to be about family. Of course, it's going to be about getting together. Of course, it's about respecting each other, loving each other. Which is highly unrealistic, I might, I might add. Because, newsflash, not every family is like that. Unfortunately, the unfortunate reality, not every family is like this. I mean, okay, I appreciate, I appreciate, it. I appreciate the film for having some sort of diversity when it comes to gay characters. That, that's fine. Bravo movie. I appreciate the fact that it has the un LGBT thing going on. That's fantastic. But the movie's still garbage. It's still sucked. Okay, it's still garbage. It doesn't save the movie, but I mean, I appreciate that Disney is willing to have these type of characters in the movie. That's fine. But it does not save the movie because it's still shit. The dialogue is awful. The music's awful. It just comes off like a, one of those great Z movies. A great Z movie. <sighs> I'll give this film an overall rating of a 4.6 out of 10. It's a 4.6 out of 10. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. And, uh, later, just, whatever, man, whatever.